Yo, what's going on guys, Flames in here, and today I'll be doing some technical analysis and also a price prediction on Veracity or VRA. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my Telegram in the link in the description, it's just general crypto discussions here and there, and I'll also be posting different trades that I make every day. And lastly, if you would like to make up to $100 for free in Bitcoin, just join the BlockFi link in the description as well. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off here on coin market cap and we have a $45,700 Bitcoin and we have just below a $3,500 Ethereum. Now if we move on over here to TradingView, take a quick look at BTC here and we'll drop back to the daily. As you can see, we were sort of fighting with that 8 EMA and then also that 2022 yearly open that I have been mentioning quite a bit. Even if we drop back to the four hour, as you can see, we've had a good bit of price action in and around this level. If you actually take a look at this trend line that I do have marked up here, we did actually manage to get the break out there, but unfortunately we just got sold off straight back down into it. And then we did get a break to the downside. Now we haven't really got many closes here above that yearly open since we had what, like one, one hour close there. And then since then we have just been sort of rejecting off it. Now we did push down to around this level. This is some support that I did have marked up here. Even if we drop back to the 15 minute, as you can see, we did deviate below that there. Then we did get a nice sort of bounce up here towards the 8 EMA. Unfortunately, we haven't closed above that yet. And now we have rejected down. Hopefully we do close this above this level. Then we can hold this as support, creating a higher low here, and then hopefully pushing on up, creating a higher high above this level here. And then obviously grinding on up towards this yearly open again. Now, I would hope that we would manage to flip that back to support. But if we do sort of keep this selling pressure up, even if we drop back to the 4R, as I did mention before, we could be sort of dropping down towards this level at around 45K. And if we do come down here and lose that, then I would say we will be pushing down to around 44K there. So I'd be keeping an eye on these two levels here, see if we do come down here and see what sort of buying pressure we do get in and around these levels. Now, we'll move back on over here to Training View and we will take a look at Veracity or VRA. Uh, it is currently sitting at rank number 373. We're at 2.7 cents there. We're down 5.83% today. Our market cap is 123 million. Our circulating supply is 4.47 billion, and that is 43% of our max supply, which is 10.3 billion. Then our total supply is 19.4 billion. Now, if we move down here, our all time high is currently sitting in and around 8.6 cents. And that was on November 1st, which was five months ago. And we're currently down 68.25% from then. Now, if you want to do a small read, you can have a read three coin market caps right up here. Just pause the video. Or if you would like to do a little bit more fundamental research, you can move on up here to their website, which is veracity.io. And over here, you'll find out everything that you need to know to help you make your decision on whether you would actually like to invest in this. And if you do come over here, figure that you do actually want to pick yourself some up, then you can move back on over here to CoinMarketCap, click on markets, and this will show you where you can actually do so. So the number one volume holder there is Gate.io with around 36% volume. Then you've got Qcoin, Huobi, BitThumb, Uniswap, Bittrex, Poloniex. There's loads of different ones there. Just stick to the high confidence ones and you'll be chilling. Now we'll move on over here to TradingView. We'll take a quick look at this, do some technical analysis on it. And then I will also give you a price prediction as well towards the end. So as you can see a few videos ago, it might even have been the last video, I did tell you to have some buy orders in and around this horizontal support that I had marked up. We'll actually take the volume off here so it's a little easier to see. And that was also confident with this more macro trend line that I did have marked up here. As you can see, once we did come down to around this level, we did actually get a nice bounce up. So if you did have buy orders laddered from this level down to here, even from this bottom, you would be up around 98% to the highs. And then to current prices, you would be up around 76%. And then if you did just take it from this support here, you would still be up around 47% to current prices and then 60% to the highs. So congratulations if you did take that trade, you did place some buy orders in and around this level and you have made yourself some nice profits. Now, if you are still sitting without yourself some veracity and you don't really know where to place yourself some buy orders, you can run a fib here from even this bottom here up to that top there. You could actually take it just to this top here and just take these as a deviation to the upside. So as you can see, once we did make it up here, we did actually fall the whole way down to this 0 0.5 and then we did get a nice move up towards the upper end of the FIB again. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to get any closes above that and we have pushed down here towards this 236. So I would definitely keep an eye on this level. If you do see us close below this, then we could easily be coming down towards this 382, which is confluent with this horizontal support at around 2.6 cents there. Now, if we do come down to here and sort of lose this, get a bearish retest, then we could be pushing down towards this 0 0.5 and maybe even this 0 0.618. So I'd just be laddering your buy orders there from around 2.6 cents 
all the way down there to around 2.3 cents. And as you can see, that is also confluent with this previous high that we did have there back on the 25th of March. So you would like to see us hold if we do come down to around this level and then hopefully get a nice bounce up, bringing us up towards new local highs. Now, if you are working in the BTC pair, we will take a look at that and see where you can actually place some buy orders with your sats. So if we take a look at this, as you can see, I did tell you to have buy orders in on this level before. And if you did do that, you would have got yourself, that's the wrong tool, from here to our highs, that's about a 35% move on this pair. And then to current prices, that is still a 26% move. So similar sort of story here. If you are looking to place yourself some buyers and you don't actually know where, you can just run a fib from this bottom up to that top. And as you can see, we have actually pushed down towards this 382 and got a sort of small bounce up there. We have got a good bit of buy orders in and around this level, also confident with that 50 moving average. So if you do see us come down and lose this level, get a bearish retest there, then I would be laddering your buy orders from around this 0 0.5 down towards this 618, maybe even towards this 786. Now that is not to say we can't come down here and test this level. It just does depend on what Bitcoin does. If it does go for a run and leave alts behind, then I would say we will easily be pushing down towards this level. So you could even ladder your buy orders from around 5,700 sats down there to around 4,900 sats. Now I will move on up here to the USDT pair again, and I will now do a price prediction for you all. So if we take a look at this, and we'll remove this fib for now, and drop back to the daily, and we will be taking a fib from our previous all-time high there at around the start of November there, all the way down here to our bottoms that we made there on the 24th of February. And if we do manage to sort of start moving up and grinding through these levels, creating higher highs and higher lows, this does depend on Bitcoin. If BTC does manage to push up towards the equilibrium of this parallel channel, then I would say also will be going on a pretty nice run. But if we do manage to flip this to support and then continue on up, if we manage to do that, I would say that Bitcoin probably will be pushing on up towards new highs at the upper end of this ascending parallel channel at around that 73K mark. And if that does manage to happen, then altcoins will be going absolutely crazy. We will see some nice parabolic runs coming out of them. And I would say Veracity could easily be reaching this all time high, flipping that to support and getting into price discovery. And if we do so, we could be moving up towards these FIB extensions. This 1.618 is sitting at around 13.2 cents. This 2.618 is around 20 cents. And then we've got a 3.618 at 27. If we actually do continue moving on up here, our 5.618 is sitting in at around sort of 42 cents. And honestly, I'm gonna take a look at this psychological level at around that 50 cents mark. Now this may sound crazy, but I have said that we could easily see a $1 veracity. It may not happen anytime soon, but in the future, I could definitely see it pushing up there. Now I will keep it a little bit more conservative for now, and we'll take a look at this 50 cents mark and see what sort of money it would actually take us to push up there. So we'll go 0 0.5, and we'll divide that by our current price, which is 0 0.027557. And that would actually give us an 18.1x from our current prices for us to see a 50 cents veracity. Now, if we move over here and multiply this by our market cap, that is multiplied by 123,158,885. And that would actually give us a $2.2 billion market cap for us to see a 50 cents veracity. Now, if we move over here and see where that would actually put us here on the ranks, $2.2 .2 billion would actually put us, let's see exactly what it is, 2.234. So that would bring us here just below Maker, moving eCash out of 57th position. And if you have watched this channel, I have mentioned many times that if Bitcoin does manage to push on up to new highs, there's gonna be a lot of FOMO kicking in and there's gonna be a lot more new money flowing into this total market cap. And I would say that $2 billion could easily be pushed out towards this top 100. And if you understand the fundamentals that Veracity has, what the team are actually striving for and what they are currently achieving right now with the updates that they are constantly bringing out. Just follow their Twitter to find out any news about it. Then you will understand that we could easily be pushing up towards this top 100, bringing us up towards this 50 cents mark, valuing us at around a $2.2 billion market cap. I hope that's what you wanted to hear. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.